Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the weekly vlogs. It is officially 2024. Hello. It is Tuesday today. I took yesterday off filming. I didn't do literally anything yesterday. It was probably the laziest start to the year ever, but it was a holiday. So me and Jade had like the laziest day. We downloaded this new game on Switch. It's called Unravel 2. And it's so fun and honestly really relaxing. You basically play as these like two little yarn characters and you have to like cooperate to go through like little tasks and stuff. I don't know. I really liked it. It was fun. I'm just having a second coffee right now. I've been up since 5 a.m. because I've just been waking up super early. I got my new hatch alarm clock, which I showed you guys in my last video, and I really love it. It honestly helps me fall asleep and wake up early. Like, I get to sleep with Ocean Wave soundtrack, which is such a game changer for me because I'm like a person who loves white noise to sleep. Sorry, it's my dishwasher, and obviously that's a version of white noise. Hey, don't chug your water. And I find it so helpful for my sleep. I think it's still on sale on Amazon, so I will link it down below for you guys, especially in Canada. It's hard to get it at a good price. Like they're so expensive, but I was able to get it for 30% off. I'm going to get my nails done in a bit. They're honestly not even like in desperate need to get done. They're just way too long for my personal liking and they're driving me insane. I, the ideal of long nails is nice. Like I'm like, oh my God, they look so pretty, but I, I functionally, I hate them. <laughs> I don't know what color I'm gonna do. I'm thinking something like neutral, nude. I thought about just doing funny bunny, but I don't know how that looks on your nails, just funny bunny. Part of me wanted to do blue, but I don't really feel like a color. I'm thinking like a natural nude, creamy kind of color. So we'll see what I end up with. Our IKEA furniture delivered today, which is really exciting because thankfully it came back in stock. It was like out of stock. We ordered a dresser wardrobe, like a wardrobe thing for um, Jay because he doesn't have a closet here because we live in a tiny apartment. So it's gonna be built hopefully on Thursday. We also hired a task rabbit to do it just because we don't have a drill and it required a drill. It's gonna go on this wall. It's just white, it has like a little mirror door. I think it's gonna look really cute. Hopefully the bathroom will be fixed this month so this mirror can go back in the bathroom and then the bookshelf can get pushed against the wall again and it'll be a lot less crammed over here. I'm planning this week to film a video talking about how to start running in 2024. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I think I'm gonna film that probably tomorrow. That should be live before you see this. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm just gonna show like some tips and tricks that I have, apps I used, mindsets. I'll see you guys in a bit when I'm going to get these nails fixed. Good morning, everybody. Happy, <laughs> what day is it? Wednesday is the next day. Why is my wrist itchy? I have just been filming a little reel this morning. I'm trying to shoot more reels and slash TikToks content this year. So I'm trying to do like at least three a week. So I just put one up now, which I really like. And I am now starting the vlog. I just did like a little morning one. So I just kind of brought you guys through like my slower morning routine because today's a run day. I'm gonna do a run this afternoon or pretty soon. Whenever Jay gets home, I'm gonna try and convince him to go for a run. I think we're gonna try, I wanna do 7K. So we'll see if I can just drag him along. Maybe I'll just not tell him how far we're running. <laughs> I'm just drinking my electrolyte water right now. So I put electrolytes in this and creatine which is really great for muscle recovery and obviously the electrolytes just for hydration because I feel like I'm like chronically dehydrated. One of the new habits I'm doing for 2024 is trying to wait at least an hour, minimum an hour after waking up to have coffee. So I typically wake up at around, depends on the day actually, Days that I'm going to the gym in the mornings, I'll wake up at 5 a.m. Days that I'm running, I'll wake up around 6 a.m., 6.30. So I'm trying to push my coffee till 8 a.m., which means I'd be awake for around 
two hours, hour and a half before I have coffee. Or if it's a gym day, I kind of cancel that out because I need caffeine to head straight to the gym in the morning or else so I'm just not functioning. I wanna see, I'm gonna, maybe I'll try, I'm gonna do a gym session Friday morning, so maybe I'll try and do it without coffee. I do have energy drinks, which I guess I could do instead, but I don't know if that's literally any better. I feel like there's still caffeine. I don't know if that's different than coffee, other than the fact that I know coffee's like a bit harder on your stomach, probably. So we'll see. We need to go grocery shopping this afternoon because we literally are out of everything and have no meat and no anything. I don't know what happens to the food. Well, actually, no, I do know. Both me and Jason eat a lot, so the food's just constantly gone. What did I, what else do I have to say? Nothing, I guess. <laughs> That's it for my morning so far. I don't like to just go and grocery shopping blind because I'll just buy the most ridiculous things ever. So it's better for me to like plan out what dinners I'm gonna make. I know I kind of want to make chili. I've had chili in so long, so I was thinking chili for one recipe, something with chicken, maybe a salmon recipe would be good. I think Jason's gonna cook dinner tonight, which is nice because I don't feel like cooking. That's the plan. And I'll see y'all in a bit when we are going for the run. I am, why am I so tired? <laughs> running the opposite direction that we normally go and so far it's so good it's not that cold i thought it was gonna be colder but once you get moving it's not too bad pace wise i think we're going around 5 45 6 depending the kilometer which is too bad yeah <laughs> everybody welcome back it is thursday today today's gonna be a good day because the task rabbit is coming to assemble this wardrobe that is currently on the floor and it's gonna make such a big difference just having my boyfriend have somewhere to put his clothes i'm also gonna go do an evening workout today and there was something else i wanted to do today oh yeah i'm filming a video today too as well so that should be good i've been working on like editing the weekly vlogs i'm trying to keep like a week ahead just because i feel like that's just easier for me i'm about to make my little creatine electrolyte drink i like to drink this every day because i'm always trying to recover your muscles okay i was so sore after my run yesterday the run was so good we ended up doing 8k i probably could have done seven but i was just on a runner's high a bit and i was like let's just do eight and honestly great time it's insane how much my running pace has improved since the summer so in the summer for me i would run around a 6 30 pace and my heart would be around 160 170 ran yesterday we did around a 130 pace and my heart rate was around 160. i literally speed it up and my heart rate has stayed the same if not gone down i'm feeling really good about that and i'm excited to see what i can do for my training plan that i'm going to start in february it's estimating that i will be able to compete complete the half marathon let me see if i can get the stats for it in one hour and 51 minutes to one hour and 54 minutes which is perfect because i wanted to do a sub two hour half marathon for my first time it says my pace will be between 515 and 525 <laughs> 515 to 525 for 21 kilometers so we will have a lot of training to do because that is basically the pace that i did for my 10k but i will be doing that for 21 kilometers so over double the distance i did it for last time i actually start training for it february 12th which is kind of annoying because i might not be in the country for then so we will be beginning our training in another country but anyways i'm gonna make my drink now okay so first up we need H2O. So I'll just fill up this glass of water. I add in one scoop of creatine, and ladies, don't worry, this won't make you massive or anything unless you are 
taking this in excess, but I just take one scoop and it's just really great for muscle recovery and if you do high intensity workouts, which I like to do. And I've seen all over Instagram and TikTok, like the ins and outs that people are doing for 2024. And so many people are just completely outing high intensity training. And I'm not saying that obviously if you're doing an excess of high intensity training, it'll be hard on your body. That is a given but I feel like people just canceling it all out together and making it seem like the only exercise that is good for you is Pilates and yoga isn't exactly accurate, in my opinion. High intensity training is what works for you and what you like. Do not let people online tell you what's good for you. Do you know what I mean? It's really what exercise makes you happy. What exercise fuels you and your body still feels good, you're taking care of yourself, do it. If you like running, run. If you like HIIT workouts, do HIIT workouts. If you like yoga and Pilates, do that. But do not let the internet tell you what is in and out. Anyways, electrolytes. These can be salty if you don't add enough water. So make sure you're adding enough water to your glass. I might even add a bit more water because I feel like that might be a little salty. And just mix that. I also need to take my vitamins this morning. I was sore, if I'm being honest, after my run yesterday. I have a Theragun, which I was kind of gifted by Guru Energy. Love them, thank you. And I 100% used that on my legs and it made such a difference. Like if I'm ever feeling like I'm super sore after a workout, I will go in with the Theragun. Yes, it's painful, okay? It hurts using it because you're literally banging on your muscles, but it helps get rid of that fluid that causes really bad muscle pain. Cheers. I use this one by the way. It's the Organica Electrolytes Extra Strength. And I really like the way that I feel when I drink this. I feel like it helps with my hydration so much. The creatine that I take, I just got it off of Amazon by PVL, Pure Vital Labs. It's 100% pure creatine, micronized pharmaceutical grade. And I do one scoop. Rabbit man just left. So this is the finished wardrobe in the den. Honestly, I don't think it looks bad. This will look better once this is like actually flush with the wall, but because we have the mirror from the bathroom there, can't exactly do that right now. So it's got like hanging and a shelf in here, a mirror, which is nice, and then four shelves, three shelves, one, two, three, four, four shelves in there. Definitely recommend hiring Task Rabbit because this man built it in like an hour which is insane to build a hill dresser in an hour. I don't even know how you do that. They would took me like five because I'm slow motion with Ikea furniture. But yeah, it looks really good. I kind of actually like it here. I thought at first it looked a little bit big, but now it's growing on me. I think if I get like a little nice rug for this area, it'll kind of make it like its own little den nook. God, I vacuumed and it looks like I didn't do anything. Guys, look how good this looks. Under the egg break. Oh. <laughs> Babe, you outdid yourself. I am a chef. A chef. Hello friends, it is later. I am currently making a chili for dinner. So I just cut up all of the veggies for it, which was an onion, a green pepper, a jalapeno pepper, and I just did zucchini because we had zucchini laying around and I didn't want it to go to waste. I'm gonna get all my spices out now. I have my handy dandy spice drawer, chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin powder, onion powder. I'm gonna use garlic, it's just garlic and salt mixed together basically. Cayenne chili flakes to make it a little bit hot. I also have everything else here. We have diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, black beans, red kidney beans, and some beef broth and some garlic. I'm honestly gonna wing it. I don't really know how this is gonna turn out, but we're just gonna go for it and see how it turns out. That's the fun thing about chili. You can kind of just like do your own thing, you know? That's why people have chili competitions because really you can just improvise. I somehow managed to not speak to my camera at all on Friday. Literally not one word, but me and Jason spent some time just setting up his little wardrobe and kind of figuring out the space. So I did move some stuff around, which I will show you guys in a bit, but we basically just organized his closet for about 
40 minutes. It took actually a while to put all the clothes away and figure out the layout. Then I headed over to a coffee spot to meet up with my friend Alicia, who I haven't seen in a few months, just to catch up. Boxcar Social, I went over to the east end of Toronto, and it was really nice there. My Americano was not the best I've ever had, but I drank the whole thing anyways, and honestly had the biggest coffee high ever. Then we went to this little shop, I think it was called like The Neighborhood or something like that, and they literally sold everything there. It was so cute, but yeah, that was my Friday. Coffee. Hello, everybody. Good morning. We are off to the St. Lawrence Market. Today, we're going to go see if we can get some pastries, maybe another coffee from Balzac's. And that is the plan. This is my outfit. It might be cold, but it's okay. I'm just wearing this scarf that's from Dynamite. My jacket is from Zara. I think it's like two years old now or a year old. I can't remember. Jeans are Levi's dad jeans in this like really light wash. And I'm just gonna wear my blundstones because it snowed so much last night. But yeah, we're gonna head over there. I'm gonna see what they have, do a little browse around, just have like a nice, fun Sunday together. So that is the plan. Got a couple things. Okay, nice. <laughs> there's, a, <laughs> there's a vintage cinema here, but just got a few things. Picked up some scones. Are you looking at <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking about like all the popcorn machines. Is there? No, it's not. No. It probably is somewhere, but. Mm -hmm. Got some scones, and then what was the other thing you got? Some chocolate thing. A maple pecan tart. Maple pecan tart. I'm not sure. I don't know what it was. That's definitely not what you had. <laughs> it definitely wasn't even a tart at all either. No, it was no. fish. <laughs> but we also got fish and chips, which was really good. And now we're just walking up to King Street so we can take the streetcar back because our legs are literally dead. My legs are exhausted from running 10K yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday, but I ran 10K. And then we also went to, what's it called? Pursuit OCR. Pursuit OCR. Oh, the, bell, the church bells are ringing. Look at that man with the pigeons, babe. It's like holding olives, isn't it? Look at the fuck. Jesus. You all can't see. There's like 30 pi Babe. He's being swarmed by <laughs> pigeons. Country, is it? It is. Yeah. That's fast. We got on the other side, right? Yeah. Oh, he's just feeding all of them. Look at him. He's throwing bird seed. I like the church bells right now. Look at the snow falling from the thing. Rabbit. Oh, Rabbit. Oh. What are you called? Squirrel. Squirrel. Oh my god, I've been Look at the pigeons Wait, over there. Cute. 